first topic before we start normalization so uh, we need to study what is what are prime attributes and what are non prime attributes and what are non prime attributes then in this video then we will be studying what are uh, you know partial functional dependency what is a partial functional dependency next what is a fully functional dependency fully functional dependency dependency and the last one is what is a transitive functional dependency transitive functional dependency okay so it is partial functional dependency fully functional dependency and transitive functional dependency so we'll start with what is a prime attribute see when when i'm saying prime attribute these are the attributes which come in the you know key or you can say candidate key of a relation then those attributes are called as prime attributes assume we are having the relation r a b c d e and f this is a given relation which is given now in this relation these are the functional dependencies which are given c determines f e determines a e c determines d and a determines b these are the given functional dependencies okay so uh, what is a prime attribute because a prime attribute is the attribute which are present in any of the candidate key and non prime attributes are the attributes which are not present in any of the candidate key okay so let me write this definition here when i'm saying prime attributes are the attributes are the attributes which are which are present in present in any of the candidate key any of the candidate key and non prime attributes non prime attributes are the attributes are the attributes which are not present not present in any of the candidate key in any of the candidate key okay now for this given relation find out what are the candidate keys which are possible for that look at the right hand side of each production and see what are the variables or what are the attributes which are not present here f is present a is present d is present b is present only c and e these two attributes are not present so in any uh, you know candidate key ec should be there sorry e and c should be there so if we take ec closure let us see what are, what are the things which we are getting if you take ec closure it is going to give ec because it is trivial from e i can get a from ec i can get d from a i can get b right and from c i can get f so if you take ec closure that means you are getting all the attributes in ec closure that means for this given relation only one candidate key is possible if you add anything else in ec then it will become a super key it will not remain a candidate key so this candidate key is also a super key okay so if you add something else then it will become a super key then it will not be a candidate key okay so the ec is the candidate key here so there's only one candidate key and the attributes which are present in this candidate key are e and c so you can say e and c are prime attributes are prime attributes all the other attributes which are not prime they are you know non prime attributes for example a, a part of e and c we have a d b and f are non prime attributes are non prime attributes non prime means these are the attributes which are not present in any of the candidate key of this given relation okay now you understand what is a prime attribute and what is a non prime attribute now next is what is a partial functional dependency fully functional dependency and transitive functional dependency partial fully and transitive let us discuss about them so we have the following functional dependencies number 1 is fully functional dependency second one what is a partial functional dependency and third one what is a transitive functional dependency what is a transitive functional dependency okay so assuming that we have x determines y where x is some set of attributes and y is some set of attributes okay so you can see y is said to be y is said to be fully functional dependent on fully functionally dependent on x on x if 
इट कैन नॉट बी इफ इट कैन नॉट बी डिटरमाइंड बाय डिटरमाइंड बाय एनी सबसेट ऑफ एक्स एनी सबसेट ऑफ एक्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज फुली फंक्शनली डिपेंडेंट बट इफ कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाय बट इफ if it can be determined by if y can be determined by determined by any subset any any see when i'm saying subset here that means i'm saying about proper subset okay any proper subset of x then it is called as partially functionally dependent partially functionally dependent okay so for example let us assume we are having the following functional dependencies they are a b c determines d now if we say for this given functional dependency when can we say this uh, it is a fully functional dependency if any of the subset of this right hand left hand side cannot determine d then you can say d is fully functional dependent on a b c that means we cannot have the functional dependencies like ab determines d or bc determines d or ac determines d or uh, you know a determines d or b determines d or c determines d we cannot have any of these functional dependencies why because all the left hand sides are actually proper subset of this right if any proper subset of this can determine d then it is called as partial functional dependency if any proper subset cannot determine d then it is called as fully functionally dependent okay so these things cannot happen now let us take this example if you are having ac determines b and a determines d and d determines p okay now if you check the first function this uh, first functional dependency we have ac determines p here can you say can you say can you say p is fully functionally dependent on ac fully functionally dependent on ac how will you check take the subset of ac what are the subsets of ac which are possible subset is a and c now take a closure of this subset if i take a closure then it will be a d and p if i take c closure then it will be c and d now from a subset of this if i am in a closure if i am getting p that means i can write a determines p that can also be verified from here you can see if a determines d and d determines p therefore by transitivity a determines p okay so you can say this p is partially functionally dependent on a therefore this p is not fully functionally dependent on d okay so you can say so you can say p is not fully functionally dependent on ac p is partially functionally dependent on ac p is partially functionally dependent on ac and next is what is a transitive functional dependency what is transitive functional dependency transitive functional dependency transitive functional dependency says if x is some set of functional dependency and y x y and z are some set of functional dependencies some set some set of attributes sorry some set of attributes some set of attributes then if x determines y and y determines z then x determines z now this x determines z is in a transitive functional dependency it is called as transitive functional dependency right so now we are going to introduce normalization in case of normalization we will try to remove these functional dependencies only so now let us look at the next part how uh, in what uh, you know uh, normal form we remove these functional dependencies and uh, what is the specific functional dep dependency which will be removed in a specific normal form okay